hello welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to set write permissions for our ec2 user and then uh, also load a test file into our ec2 instance and then uh, check the php version demo page and then in the last step we are going to secure our database server which is mariadb uh, to begin with let's go and uh, add our user to the apache group so ensure that you are still logged in into the ec2 instance and then copy paste the command and then let's exit and then check the groups so uh, so you can see ec2 ADMN wheel so we can see that okay so the problem is once we have exited we are out of the EC2 instance let me log in back to the instance using the same command and then once we are in there so now let us run this command which is groups so once you do that you can see ect user adm wheel apache and then system t journal which is same as what amazon has mentioned now let us change the ownership of uh, where www directory to ect user and then uh, we are going to add group write permissions with this command uh, so it's easier to just uh, go through the description which they have given and then use the command uh, it's easier these steps are mandatory to launch the wordpress website in the right way uh, once that is done so we are going to test our lamp server so to do that we are going to create a new file in where www HTML directory which is php info dot php once that file is created um, you can go to go back to our website which is the test link and then add a slash in the end and then say php info this shows all the details about your packages php version etc etc it's good to delete this file after you have viewed this information so uh, so uh, we are going to delete that file it is a bit of security issue if you have this file in your web server so let me remove that file from the instance so rm will remove the file now when i reload this page it says file not found uh, remove that and then check ensure that the test page is still showing up now we are going to secure the database server which is MariaDB so, uh, so we are going to first start the MariaDB server and then run mysql secure installation So uh, the default password is nothing so just click on the enter button so uh, is it it's asking whether I have to set a root password so we are going to set a root password for this so enter capital Y and then click on the enter button so once that is done let's come back here so they have given a web link for us to generate a password let's use that and create a secure password copy the password and then paste it twice so it, it so my password has been successfully set uh, let's remove all the anonymous accounts default accounts and then uh, disallow root login let's give is for that also and then remove test database and access to it 
uh, reload privileges table now so uh, we have to give s for this option also and finally we are done so the password whichever you have given uh, please have a backup of that in a safe place now uh, let's stop the MariaDB which is running in the background and then uh, restart it again so uh, so this command as we have seen for Apache will start MariaDB every time the system or instance reboots thanks for watching the video please subscribe to my youtube channel